Season's greetings from the furnace as Jamshedpur FC host FC Goa. Two sides in very different veins of form at the moment. Will form be overturned tonight or will Goa take the points to continue their push towards the top? Edubadia over the free kick. Comfortably away by Elis Sabia. Now Daniel Chimachukwu. Pandita. Chimachukwu racing through the centre. Faraz Onak just keeping an eye on where he is. Pandita might be tempted to go it alone. Good save, Dirash. Used his feet well to get across and pushed it wide, but good play from Jan Pierpo once again going forward. It goes down as another effort on target in the first half. Really positive from Ishan Pandita, getting that ball in his feet. Always so difficult to run, and it came from that counter-attacking move from a set piece, and Chukwu released the number nine, Ishan Pandita, who was up against the skipper, Eruberia, and inside there, he just thought, maybe have a shot in the second attempt. Rivalaru with the ball in! And they have got the opening goal of the game. Quality finally from the set piece. Jay Emmanuel Thomas right in the thick of it. Applause from his coach, and it's a rare lead for Jamshedpur in a match. The fans here are showing their loyalty tonight, and they've been rewarded with the opening goal of the game. It's come from the set piece, but all about the delivery from Rafael Crimolaro. Super ball in, just standing there. Has that come off an FC Goa player? Let's have a look again. Rafa Crivellaro. It has. Guarachena OG. Unfortunately, he's unsighted the ball, gone over the big body of Jet. He can't see the ball there. Guarachena closes his eyes, and unfortunately, it goes in a different direction he was hoping. The reaction. They don't care how they go in as long as they go in. He'll claim it, though. Nidu Badia. Faris. Roll the ball back to Diraj. Anwar Ali. Beats so far for Goa to Hyderabad, Kerala, Bengaluru and Mumbai. Jote, good ball in, free header, and Guarachena makes amends for the own goal at the other end. Not in front of his man, it's poor defending from Jamshedpur, and that's what's been costing them this season. And Ika Guarachena has scored at both ends. FC Goa are back on level terms before half-time, it's 1-1. Well, the key to this move was making the pitch big, and Anwar Ali stepping in and passing that ball forward. And then it got outside to Chote, who just thought, I'm going to whip this one across the near post. It takes a little deflection, which stops the pace for the cross and makes its way all the way across to Guarachena, who's at the near post, exactly what FC Goa needed, somebody to make a near post run from midfield. It's what the game deserved. Guarachena making amends for that earlier own goal, and it is 1-1 at the furnace. Just a word on Alvaro Vasquez, who's come on as well. Third appearance off the bench for him. Finally got his first goal for his new club. Two games ago against Odisha. Oh, it's a poor mistake by the goalkeeper, Diraj, and he'll be walked in by Ishan Pandita. Well, of all the goalkeepers, you don't expect Diraj to do that. He has gifted Ishan Pandita a goal. He has gifted Jamshedpur the lead. Has he gifted Jamshedpur all three points? They lead by two goals to one but it's a moment for the young goalkeeper to forget. It looked like a very, very slow and tired back pass from Ivan and Dolan. We'll see the replay in just a few moments' time. For the Diraj, that's a moment to forget. Ishan Pandita making sure that his side goes up two goals to one. The ball just goes long from Jamshedpur, and just here, Ivan Dolan just gets caught and possibly doesn't get enough on it, but Diraj has to deal with that first time and just clear his lines. And Ishan Pandita will not get an easier goal, but it's what he deserves. He goes in, he chases, but this there, Diraj has to clear the ball mark. We saw Diraj do some clever footwork in the game against North East United a couple of games, well, last game, sorry. Nice little uh, shimmy at the back. Instead of putting his foot through the ball, he's tried to be clever. And Ishan Pandita needed no second asking. Second goal of the season. Delight once again for Aidy Boothroyd.
And just for the second time this season, Jamshedpur have scored more than one in a game. One points off the bench. But he has performed well, led the line extremely well tonight, Ishan Pandita. He's chased absolutely everything. Ubedia over the top once again. It was Pratik's header. It's Gorachin! Flies away through for his second of the match and with the clock ticking down. It's an equaliser for FC Goa and the Spaniard scores again. Well, he's more than made up for the own goal, which I'm sure he will be credited with after the match. A heady goal in the first half and a low driven shot, which is evaded Vishal Yadav in the second. It's a fine finish and Goa are back on level terms. Just a long ball in and Pratik Chaudhry heads that one up in the air to try and give it some sort of trajectory, but they didn't expect that. The on-rushing Ika Guarachena and he just hammers it home at the near posts. And Vishal Yadav didn't see the ball coming in that quickly. It needed not to let it bounce there from Boris. The Devendra did really well to allow the space and the time for Guarachena to attack Carlos Pena knows. It's a massive point if they can hang on now because they've been behind in a lot of the contests tonight, but he did not lose that contest there, getting to the ball first, Guarachena. Good defending again, though, from Jamshedpur. Boris putting his body on the line once more. Sanson Pereira. But there is no more time. And Jamshedpur, well, they have halted a run of seven consecutive defeats, but they've only managed to take a point. They looked as though they were going to take all three, but Goa's resilience once again, coming up with a late equaliser. Well, Guarachena, after scoring that own goal, responded by getting his fourth and his fifth goal of this Hero Indian Super League campaign and making sure his side took at least a point away from the furnace. And I'm sure it will go down as an own goal against Guarachena, but A.D. Boothroyd still can't get the win, despite the fact his side have given an excellent account of themselves tonight. Two from Guarachena, an own goal from Guarachena, and a goal from Isham Pandita for Jamshedpur, starting the match. A rare start for him tonight, but the spoils shared for just the second time between these sides. It's finished Jamshedpur 2, FC Goa 2.